Hey guys, before we talk about Forex cards, let's talk about the scenarios in which you actually need a Forex card. So number one scenario could be when you're bringing a lot of tuition fee from your home country. It could be like $20,000 of tuition fee that you have to pay to your school. You would choose either international wire transfer to the tuition fee directly or you will think of bank transfer let's say from Indian bank account to American bank account or you would think of forex card or cash and here you have to keep in mind is whether you're getting cash or any transfer there might be some conversion fee you have to look into that how much it is it could be two percent three percent or it could be like 20 to 30 pesa for every dollar you purchase and here forex cards come very handy because there are some forex cards without any conversion fee so you can save a lot of money in that scenario and now number two scenario scenario is let's say that when you're coming from India you are carrying a lot of cash and you lose that cash but here you can't really do anything because if you lose your cash you can file a complaint you may not find your cash back but if you had a forex card in this scenario you can actually block it through the phone app or through a website and you can get a new forex card in few days and you will get your money back so that's the biggest advantage so now scenario number three when you actually want to explore the world just like you can imagine low that you're coming from delhi to atlanta la etc and you want to explore the world on the way because if you look at ticket prices dekho, na, let's say you're coming from delhi to atlanta the ticket price is around 1100 dollars if you on the way hogwarts in london visit Canada, you want to see another country another city you can do that and you will have to pay only 100 dollars you can decide on the way that you are actually staying that you are actually staying in london for one day and remaining in atlanta and you can manage out and you will just have to pay 100 dollars for extra ticket and $100 for visa, UK visa if you don't have that one. So in that scenario, your travel card would be very, very helpful. Whenever I will be going back to India, on the way I'll get a ticket to another country and explore that for one day. And on the on the way back, I can explore on the, another country because this will be cheaper. For this scenario, Forex card is very, very useful. So that's why I present Forex card in India ranked from worst to best. And I have to say that I'm not against any Forex card. I'm just sharing my personal experiences. And and before even talking about any forex card, I really want to share the ideal scenario. So the ideal scenario will be that you go to any website or mobile app, you go to a mobile app and you should be able to manage your forex card, transactions, balance, block, etc. You can manage through manage kar sako, and you should be able to add money to your forex card and you should be good to go. And in that process, the transaction fee, uh, conversion fee, all those tons of fees should be bare minimum or zero. And also I want ki aapko parents pe bilkul bhi depend na karna pade. So that's why whenever you're going to US, Canada, always get online banking so that you can operate your bank remotely from any country. Now the number one category we have is forex cards from government banks like government banks in India mein hai, for example SBI bank is the most popular bank in India which is government bank hai. so the SBI card is also great the advantage is that you can if you're going to SBI card wahi pe ja ke aap forex card le sakte. it will be available in the same location now the con is you cannot get that forex card online you cannot reload your forex card online you have bank mein ja ke a2 form banna padega. that means you will be dependent on your parents to get money in your forex card and on the top of that sbi forex card will cost you a lot of money that includes loading fee cash out fee conversion fee so you can see it it's a lot more than other forex card number two category is private bank issued forex cards these include icic bank forex card yes bank forex cards indescent bank forex cards cards and the biggest benefit of these forex cards is that they are linked to your net banking just like if you go to net banking mein jate, apne balance check karne and so on you can operate your forex card through the same website same account and it will be pretty convenient and on the top of that you can even block your forex card through the same online account so it will make you independent from your parents and now the disadvantage is once again the fee so there's one time issuance fee unload fee reload fee conversion fee so you can actually compare the cost kabhi kabhi zyada hoti hai private banks ki kabhi kabhi kam hoti hai uh, public banks ki like the government issued banks you can check the cost at both of these type of banks and compare and you can get the forex card from the choice of your bank but i'm saying that these banks these forex cards do have these fees so now in number 3 category we have some privately owned forex card platforms like bookmyforex.com so in this website you can get forex card pretty much in a day and it's pretty fast as well but the advantage is that you can manage your forex card online you can add money unload etc and there's no fee no uh, loading fee the only con is that there's some conversion fee if you online check karo, one usd equals to how many dollars then you will find out it is 71.45 at this time which is less shown on the website Matlab ki 
on their website they are showing more amount because they are charging more than the current rate so they are charging around 71.8 something they are making 30 cents on every dollar purchase so that's the con and other con is that their services are not that good for example agar aap uski mobile app hi dekh lo if you look at their mobile app it's not well reviewed and their services are not one of the best because let's say that you use $1000 out of the $1500 you put in your forex card apne $500 nahi use kiye you want to get that $500 back there might be some problems and you have to contact us service was me kuch logo problems i think not everyone maybe one or two percentage of people according to the reviews and now the number two card in this category is thomas cook borderless travel card and it's amazing as well there is no transaction fee there is no unloading reloading fee you can manage the entire card online and on the top of that there's no conversion fee maine aapko bataya tha ki pichle card mein in bookmyforex.com there was some conversion fee but that's none in this card and the reason behind that is they are getting money through mastercard so agar aap check karoge if you check on mastercard conversion rates that's the rate you will be paying because i checked on mastercard it was around 71.50 so that's what you will be buying dollars for on this website and now so far all the forex cards that i talked about have a atm transaction fee jaise ki agar aap atm mein jao in us canada anywhere there will be a fee you will be charged for let's say it could be 1.75 dollars for spi 4 to 5 dollars for other other forex cards so it could be anywhere between 1.75 to 4 5 dollars for these forex cards and that is also for thomas cook borderless travel card but this cost is not applicable to the winner of this category that is neo global card so this is the best forex card you will find for students because first of all there is no transaction fee no unloading loading fee no conversion fee and this is a visa kind of uh, forex card the pichla card tha that was thomas cook forex card they had atm fee that was around 2 and a half dollars but they don't even have that fee agar aap kisi atm mein jaoge if you go to bank of america atm the fee you will be paying will be to the bank of america atm if there is any not to the forex card company so that's biggest advantage of this forex card and another advantage is that you're putting money in rupees so let's say you come to us the money you have in the forex card is still in rupees let's say i want to get 10000 dollars in my forex card and i chose to get from thomas cook forex card company and for that i will have to pay the conversion rate whatever that is today so that is very expensive today agar aap graphs dekhoge it is very very expensive but for new the advantage is that rates keep on dropping i can convert the day i want to jab bhi kam gaya i can i can do it i can do it even after coming to us from india that's the biggest advantage and each time you do a transaction let's say i go to a restaurant mere ek forex card mein jo amount hogi that will be in rupees and i can do the transaction let's say it's 5 dollars they will convert it immediately for the cost on that day and it can be cheaper for some days and it can be expensive but you can see the graph and buy on the day it is cheaper so that's the biggest advantage and on the top of that they give you 24/7 whatsapp support their mobile app is very well reviewed and i'm going to show you all the reviews of this forex card and all are amazing it has been rated as 4.8 on play store and app store it's highly reviewed app and it has more than 100000 users worldwide so i will recommend you to go for this forex card choose in your scenario kabhi kabhi kuch scenarios mein a uh, bank for its card can be useful let's say you want to be parents dependent like parents kabhi kabhi restrictions dalna chahte hain apne bachcho pe so that's why they will go for that kind of forex card but if you want to be independent and if you want to like add money to your forex card through the net banking aap matlab net banking mein you can transfer money to your thomas cook or neo forex card easily and you can be independent and agar aapko parents ko money transfer karni hai they will transfer to your bank account in india and you can transfer to your forex card from that net banking so it is pretty convenient as well and now the big question how neo forex card company is making money if there is no transaction fee conversion fee loading and loading fee to paise kahan se aa rahe hain and the answer to this question is there is a fee called merchant discount rate so let's say aap kisi bhi grocery store pe jao you go to any grocery store you make a purchase of 100 dollars and uh, out of that 1% goes to the visa just the card issue kiya the, the the company that issued the card visa and 99 dollars goes to the owner of the store so out of that 1% some share goes to neo company and that's how they make money so that's how they are so successful as well so that's my recommendation and now agar aapko travel karna hai let's say that you coming from delhi to uk and then 
to uh, Atlanta, LA in USA, etc. So you will London aoge, you will be able to pay in pounds easily with new card, but for Thomas you will first have to convert and then pay. And now you come to US, then you have to convert those pounds to dollars and then pay. But for Neo you can automatically use your US dollars because that will be converted on that day through their platform. So it's automatic. So that's the biggest advantage. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.